Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Team Adequate Championship Wrestling. For you tonight, we have a number one contenders match for the Team Adequate World Heavyweight title. This contenders match will comprise of our four previous Royal Rumble winners. Making his way to the ring first will be everyone's most hated villain, the man who has ruined the past couple of years for the entire world, the Corona Kid. Now the Corona Kid, as you may recall, won the very first Team Adequate Royal Rumble. He was previously defeated in the last pay-per-view by Dr. Beer. So it is currently without a title. But the Corona Kid is looking to get his first non-rumble title win here tonight. Or an opportunity for it, at the very least. Now, Corona Kid is a pain in the arse. And likes to make people be locked down. And now we have to be locked down here, watching his very, very long entrance. So please bear with us, whilst we wait for him to stop being a dick and get to the ring. The following contest is a fatal four-way match, making his way to the ring from Anhui, China, weighing in at 220 pounds, Corino Kid. Sounds like this crowd is ready for this fatal four-way match to get underway. And at the risk of sounding impulsive, this match has the makings of being a match of the year candidate. And Byron, you'd have to think we'll see him continue his usual disrespectful attitude here tonight. Yeah, and I don't think I can even remember the last time I encountered a more disrespectful superstar. He's almost impossible to be around, Michael. Now, we have our second contender making their way to the ring. This contender is the winner of our most recent rumble, and their name is Cold Lips. Yes, Cold Lips is part of the mysterious Lips stable, which has made its way into TACW. No one quite knows what they want, what their agenda is. They've been very, very quiet and mysterious. But perhaps we're getting a toast of what they're after today, with Cold Lips making his way now to the ring to challenge in this number one contender match for the team adequate title. Guys, currently held sure not by the crowd favorite, who's here Stick tonight. Boy. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match will be one we'll be talking about for a long time to come. Here comes our third contender, our very own pirate captain, Captain Kick-Ass. Captain Kick-Ass won the third Team Adequatorial Rumble, 
and he has been complaining for a while now, but even though he plundered the roster, he did not get any booty. So tonight is his opportunity to see whether he can successfully find some gold to take back to his ship. I don't care about how good you look. If you don't have it upstairs, you're simply not going to succeed. Right, and now we have our final entrant. His name is Skeletor, and Skeletor won the second Team Adequate Rumble. Now this was uh, not without its controversy, as Skeletor ended at number 30 in the Rumble, promptly winning it, when the Team Adequate officials and commentators believed that it should have been the reigning Rumble champion, Corona Kid, who should have come out at number 30. However, this didn't happen, and uh, no one has been able to work out quite why that was. So it is rumoured that Skeletor and Corona Kid Seems like have some uh, more more have some beef to settle here week, tonight. You can bet has not gone but Skeletor, uh, not uh, not a properly registered team adequate uh, competitor until he won that rumble, uh, and that gave him a contract to wrestle here at Team Adequate. Championship Wrestling. And uh, the entrance is now all over. Our competitors are waiting in the ring. This match is a Fatal 4-Way, so the first person to get a pinfall or submission will win the entire match. And away we go. And straight away we've got Captain Kickass fighting the Corona Kid and Skeletor fighting Cold Lips. At the moment the, uh, the two bigger men using their strength and power to dominate their smaller opponents, but Corona Kid fighting back there, and Cold Lips as well, sending Skeletor to the outside. Cold Lips dumping Captain Kickass on his head there with a nice suplex. And he's hoisting him up. Oh, that was a, a nice maneuver. Throwing him up in the air, dropping him onto his knees, and Corona Kid taunting. I think not only the other wrestlers, but also the crowd. As uh, Cold Lips continues to dominate Skeletor on the outside and decides to re-enter the ring. No, Cold Lips has gone back outside, and meanwhile, Captain Kickass now fighting back against the Corona Kid. Skeletor and Cold Lips both back in the ring, both continuing their fight, and Cold Lips planted with a nice powerbomb there. And meanwhile, a jawbreaker. Onto Captain Kickass, followed by a sling bait, and uh, Kickass is out of the ring. And Skeletor throwing Cold Lips into the corner. And what's that sneaky son of a bitch Corona Kid planning? Oh, he's got Skeletor in an armbar here, and if Skeletor taps, this will be it. Corona Kid will be the one challenging for the title. No, couldn't quite get it done. Corona Kid dumped to the outside there. And he has uh, momentarily got the better of Skeletor here. Oh, and Corona Kid spraying that foul Corona spray all over the arena. Uh, that's what he was doing a lot of in his match with Dr. Beer. And uh, some people felt that uh, perhaps his desire, oh, as he gets sent into the steel steps there, they felt that perhaps his desire to spray the crowd and infect them, oh, he's just a skeleton onto the steps. The payback there. Yes, his desire to spray the crowd and infect them with Corona, uh, a lot of people felt that perhaps that was a distraction from him actually winning the match. And oh, what's this? Captain Kickass has hoisted up Cold Lips in the middle of the ring, and he's got a submission hold locked in here. But Corona Kid very, very wisely takes a break from fighting Skeletor on the outside, comes back in and breaks up that submission attempt. And that's the, uh, the, that's the danger in these type of matches if you spend too long on the outside. Oh, and here's a cover. Again, Corona Kid breaking it up. A lot of people are saying now that uh, 
that corona is over. Yeah, the coronavirus is done. Yeah, we've that we've uh, got our vaccinations. Oh, cold lips just flung, dumped on his head there by skeleton. A lot of people, yeah, saying that coronavirus is coming to an end now, but Corona Kid disputes this. Uh, he disputes this most vehemently, in fact, and he says that the worst has only just begun. Oh, and look at that from Captain Kigas. Nice little wind up on that punch and, and a nice little dance to celebrate there. Skeletor on the outside currently. It looks like uh, Captain Kickass and Cold Lips are taking it to Corona Kid here, and the crowd are loving this. Nobody likes Corona Kid. Interesting to see though uh, what happens. Oh, hang on! Corona Kid's just rolled Cold Lips up! And Captain Kickass notices and breaks it up. And, uh, I was about to say it would be interesting to see what happens when one of them goes for a pin, but uh, Skeletor's now back in, and, and Skeletor in a submission hold here. Corona Kid too busy spraying again, and this, if Skeletor taps, this is it. Is Skeletor ta no, Skeletor was not tapping. He managed to escape, and uh, well, that could that could very easily have been the match there. Oh, look at the strength of Skeletor, just physically lifting up Captain Kickass and, and throwing him. Oh, and then a big, big clothesline there to take Captain Kickass down. Now Skeletor going to go for a pin here. Yes, he is. And Corona Kid and Cold Lips aren't watching. But Captain Kickass does manage to kick out. Oh, DDT on the outside there to Corona Kid. Now Skeletor, he's he's got Captain Kickass up. It's an F5. F5. And this could be it. Corona Kid needs to get back into the ring, but he's he's not. He's, he's coming in a bit. Oh, oh, I thought that was going to be too late. Captain Kickass somehow kicking out of the F5 there. And Corona Kid needs to stay in the ring, I think, to, to keep an eye on this, but he's going back out again. Meanwhile, Skeletor going to the top rope. What's he going to look for here? A big splash, and it's another pinfall attempt, and again, Cold Lips and Corona Kid not there. And another kick out from Captain Kickass showing tremendous resilience, and Skeletor showing his frustration there. And uh, Cold Lips quite wisely now taking the fight to Skeletor, and he's got an armbar locked in, but Skeletor finds the ropes. This is exciting stuff here. Skeletor dominating Captain Kickass somewhat there, and uh, needed to be stopped, but can he? Skeletor taking it to Cold Lips as well. Corona Kid getting back into the ring as Cold Lips decides to roll back out, almost like a, a tag was made there. Skeletor thrown into the corner. And what's this, Corona Kid? Setting up for something here. Oh, a big drop kick. Sending Skeletor into those turnbuckles. And Corona Kid going for the cover here, but Captain Kickass just stood right there, and you'd have to think he'll break this up. And he does. Now. Big slam from Kickass to Cold Lips. And. It, oh. I don't know if Cold Lips is kicking out of that, but Corona Kid. Managed to get in and break that up there. I'd say the, the competitors have done well to break these pins up, apart from when Skeletor had that period of dominance. And Skeletor now looking for some kind of crucifix slam here onto Corona Kid. And Captain Kickass is down outside the ring. Cold Lips trying to get to his feet in the cover here. And he's, he's done it! Skeletor's got the pin from that crucifix slam. Cold Lips. Not quite able to get to his feet in time. And it's going to be Skeletor who will be challenging Stick Boy for the Team Adequate World Heavyweight title at our next pay per view. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I hope you have an adequate day. Goodbye. Destroyer! He earned every bit of that victory here tonight. Wow, somehow he made turning back three of WWE's top superstars look somewhat easy. I don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here.